All right, welcome everyone to today's banner season overview. Here's a, if you can mute everybody. Um, today we're going to share with you banner season and all of the cool system. And if you are a guest, please put in the chat that you are a guest, especially if you would like to participate because we're gonna need a few people to play along with us today and be willing to fill out a link and share your mailing address so that you can get some cool stuff in the mail if that's okay with you. So with that, I am going to bring up my PowerPoint. But before that, I need to share my screen. Awesome. So you should be able to see my screen, right, Tirza? Awesome. Yeah. So today um, we are going to talk about banner season and show you how to send cards and campaigns and um, gifts straight from your cell phone or the computer. I am Brenda Sanchez and I am one of the top leaders in banner season and I bring you these trainings every single Wednesday at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. That's 2 p.m. Pacific. We like to do everything in Pacific time but I live in Mountain Time so 2 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Mountain which is 5 p.m. Eastern Time. What you're gonna to learn today is how to get around the system, what I use and send via campaigns, my profile, I'm gonna show you my profile and how to find your order history because lots of people ask, well, how do I know what I've sent and how do I know that it actually went? Then I'm gonna show you our design store. I absolutely love our design store because creative people have come up with fabulous designs with most of them have all the words already in it and all I've got to do is go pick out the card and put it in my cart and add a person to it and off it goes. Then I'm going to show you the address book and how to use I Need Your Mailbox. So we have a really cool feature where you can just send a link to somebody and when they click on it uh, and they fill out the information, it, will automa it can automatically trigger a card or a series of cards and gifts to go to them. I'm gonna show you how to send a campaign using I Need Your Mailbox. I'm also gonna show you how to add an existing contact to a birthday campaign. I'm gonna show you how to send a campaign um, using text to mailbox. And then I'm gonna show you how to do a custom card because there's some of you that are super creative and wanna create things on your own. Um, so I will show you how to do a custom card and envelope and then I'm going to show you our gift shop and open it up for questions. So the first question I always get is, Brenda, what's a campaign? <laughs> so this is a 10 touch prospecting campaign. And if you add somebody to it, they're going to get a shipment every four days. And you're probably thinking, wow, every four days. After 40 days, they hopefully they know you and they know you care. And um, you know, they're going to feel the love in the mailbox. Now you can set it for every week, every month, um, every couple of months, but a campaign is a series of cards and gifts that go out over a time frame, or it can be a single touch campaign. And this is one of my favorites, the survival kit with cake bars. Um, it's gotten a lot of traction on social media. And this is a single card and cake bars that go out whenever I tell it to go out. So it's already pre-designed and ready to go. And all I gotta do is add somebody's name to that campaign. This is what that card and GIF look like. There is the card. It says just for you and it inserts their first name. And then it says social isolation survival kit because we all need a little bit of laughter right now and smiles. And we say, you got this. And then it puts our name at the bottom. And then it says, just for you. And again, we use the first name merge field. There, 
these, these are the times that try the soul, but when things seem unbearable, a little treat can make the day seem brighter. All kidding aside, we hope you and your family all stay safe and sane during this time of isolation. When the crisis passes, we hope we can again greet one another in person and share the joy of a new day. Stay well. And we've got our signature in there. And then on the back, you can see we've got our branding. And then, of course, you can see the brownies um, are, or the cake bars are super cute. Um, devour as needed. And uh, caution you when you're using a TV remote. I've had so many people laughing when they open the box and they read that. These are just some of the reactions. A family posted a picture of um, their kids, a few of their kids um, with the box and the cake bars. And then Jan Pollard posted the box. I even had Dawn Ramston posted a video of her open in the box. And then I've gotten multiple text messages. These are just a few of the results that I have seen using that. And then here's the, the card with the custom envelope and the mug that I'm gonna show you how to build. Um, super easy to go in and create something on the fly and send it out. And then the last thing, the most important thing is the I need your mailbox links. I absolutely love this technology and I keep these as a note in my phone so that when I'm out and about, if I'm out and about, or if I'm texting or messaging somebody, I've got those links right there handy for me to send to somebody. And when they fill it out, it automatically triggers a campaign to go out. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So with that, I am gonna go over to my banner season system. Whoops, go back up to the top. So the first thing I'm gonna show you since I'm not at the main screen is how to get to the main screen. If you're buried in the menu somewhere, go right here in the top left and click on banner season and voila, you are back to the home page. Then I am gonna move this window just a little bit so that I can see right here in the top right hand um, corner, you see a, what looks like a face or a head and shoulders. And I'm gonna click on that. And here's where you can see your mailer meter. It's where you can set up your billing. Um, it's where the integrations, our third party integrations are, which we'll talk about later. And then of course, here's your order history. So I'm gonna click on orders so that you can see I have nothing pending right now. Everything has been shipped. And we're gonna come back to this several times to show you how you can see that the orders are processing and going out. So with that, I'm gonna go back to the main screen and I'm gonna show you our design store. So there's several ways to get to the design store. I can go right here on the main menu and go down to design store or I can say I want to create a card or any of these gifts. And so I'm going to go create cards and I'm going to scroll down and right here, you're going to see start with a template. Well, that's our design store. So now I'm in the design store and you can see all these really cool gifts. Ooh, that's a new one. I haven't seen the, I appreciate you blue flower. We're adding new stuff all the time. I saw this, I think it was yesterday and I um, grabbed it. Thank you for your time. That's a really good one. But you can see there are lots to choose from. There's um, 893 right here because I've selected cards. But if I go over on the left and I take greeting card off, you're gonna see there are over 13,000, almost four, or 1,300, almost 1,400 designs to choose from. So I am going to search brownies. And so these are all the different things you can do that have brownies with them. Oh, and again, I'm gonna change it so that I can see a lot more designs. And well, there it is. Laughter is the best medicine. So um, this card you can see has a box that goes with it, trying to earn brownie points. 
and then it has a card, just laughter is the best medicine. And then on the inside, it says, dear, first name, that's our merge. They say that laughter is the best medicine. They lied. It's brownies. Please enjoy your friend. And it puts our information and it says, please call when you get this so I know you got your gift. And then the back, brownie a la mode. The best way to eat our brownies is a la mode. Put them in the microwave for a few seconds, add some ice cream. I say add some caramel syrup or some chocolate syrup on top and um, make it a sundae. Um, they are great that way. And then of course the brownies match, trying to earn brownie points, bait especially for, and it puts their name on it. So I'm gonna need somebody. Uh, do we have a guest, uh, Tirza, lined up to be the first person? Alicia, and I just unmuted her. Awesome. Alicia, are you willing to share your address? Sure thing. Do, do you I need know to how do you know how or? to get to the chat feature in, in, in Zoom. Uh, Zoom? Yes. Yes, I do. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these. Just hang on for a minute with me. I'm going to add the card. And then I'm going to hit the back arrow. This works very much like Amazon or anything. You just add it to the cart. You can delete things from the cart if you want. Um, I'm going to, then I'm going to go over here. So I've got the card and I've got the brownies in there. And now I'm going to go over to my address book. And if it cooperates with me, you're going to see, use this link to collect addresses. And I'm going to show you in a minute that every single group in your contact manager has a different link, but I'm going to copy this link address. I'm going to stop the share so I can get to the chat. And I am pasting that into the chat. Can you verify that you've got that, Alicia? Yes. Awesome. And um, you know how to get that copy and paste it into a browser? Yes, sure do. Awesome. Well, she's doing that. I'm going to go back to sharing my screen and show you around. So I'm going to show you how each one of these, so my female birthdays, here's another one. You'll notice that this is a different link than I just sent Alicia. Every single group that I have in my banner season account has a specific link. So here's one that I just did. So I'm going to view Contacts, get your business popping, and you'll notice that there is a different number here. And if I go back for a second, I forgot to show you that my female birthdays, I want to key you in right here. Caution, adding to this group will auto-trigger or auto, that will auto-trigger orders, say that three times fast, for the active campaigns, female birthday automation. So it tells you that if you add somebody new to this, guess what? Something is going to go out in the mail to them. Now, how are you doing on that link, Alicia? Already done. Already done. All right. Oh, I did just get the text message. Let me see if I can bring my iPhone up. Let's see if it's going to work today. Hold on one second. It lost technology. You got to love it. Sometimes it loses its brain. So let's see. Yep. All right. So let me share my screen again so that you can see my phone. So you should be able to see my phone now. Is that correct, Tirza? Yes. yes. Awesome. So I'm going to go right over here to my text messages, and you're going to see text to mailbox. That's Pearl. That's our concierge. And you're going to see that somebody this morning filled out, or yet Monday, I guess, filled out my first look campaign. And then today you're going to see that Alicia just filled out my address book link. So 
I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to come back over to the cart. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to say select recipients and generally the recipient, the last person that filled out that link is going to be at the top. And so I just got to give it a minute. We are in prime time right now because lots of businesses are on the internet and there's Alicia. So I'm going to click on Alicia. Now, what I want to share with you is I could share, I could send this to Wanda and Linda and Dave. All I got to do is click on the names, but I just want to send this to Alicia today. I'm going to hit checkout. And now it tells me that card was 50 cents and the brownies were 449. That is on our gold pricing. Um, so the total is 1094. That's shipping and handling and everything. I can click to schedule later so I could schedule this for next week. But I don't know, Alicia, are you okay if I send them today so you get them right away? Yes. Those All are good right. brownies. Yes. So I'm going to hit place order and look at that. That has gone. So I'm going to go back over here to my orders. And now you can see that I have an order processing. And if I click on it, you're going to see that that's going to Alicia. Now, many businesses need receipts um, in order to submit. Maybe you um, work for a company and you need the receipts to submit. All you got to do is hit this print receipt button and it will prompt you to send it to a PDF or your printer. So that's all you need to do to print receipts. But now I wanna go over, I've already shown you the design store. I've shown you the, um, I need your mailbox, but let me show you how do you trigger a campaign. So that's already built in the system. So here's one that I built, it's paused right now. So I'm actually going to start this campaign. So if it's paused, you go to options and start. Um, and then it's active. And then I'm going to go to manage recipients. <clears throat> and you're going to see that I have nobody in here yet. But I'm going to enroll a group because I already created a group in my banner season. And it's called Get Your Business Popping. And I'm going to select. Ooh, do you want to know what? I don't want to do that. Unenroll the group. Okay, I forgot I had a whole bunch of people already in there. We're not going to do that one. We're going to pick a different one because I do want that one to go later today. Um, let me go send me brownies. Everybody likes, for, oh, here's my survival kit. Now we got to do the survival kit. So I'm going to go to manage recipients and you're going to see survival kit with brownies. So do we have another recipient that um, would be willing to play along? A guest, Tirza? Uh, not that I've found yet. I've asked a couple of people. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stop sharing. There's got to be somebody on here that is new. Hey, James Beth. Has popped on. Hey, Stacy. Oh, you're brand new, aren't you, Stacy? I just saw that you joined here just a few days ago, I think. Um, are you willing to play along? Awesome. I am going to go back over to my screen. Okay. And I'm actually going to go grab that survival kit with brownies link. And of course, the internet is extremely slow today. And if you notice, I'm clicking on group name and it's reorganizing them alphabetically because S is toward the end of the alphabet. And I want to be able to find it easily. And as you can see, there is a campaign. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this link and I'm gonna put it in the chat to... Stacy with a Y. Yep. <laughs> Stacy with an E-Y. Yes. E-Y. Yeah. So did you get that link? I did. Awesome. So while you're filling that out, I'm gonna show some more things. So- Okay, I'll listen. Know. Let me know if you have any trouble with that. Okay, so now 
Let's see, Alicia, let me go back to my address book. Let me show you how to add Alicia to my birthday campaign. So she's already in my system. Hopefully she shared her birthday. Is it okay if we stay connected every single year for your birthday, Alicia? Can I send you love on your birthday every year? Is that all right? Uh, yes, yes. Awesome. So I'm just gonna hit edit contact. And you're gonna, I'm gonna come right down here and there's birthday with brownies, there's birthday card. These are two campaigns that are already set up for you on the gold account when you get started. Banner season's already done that. And I also have a female birthday campaign. So I'm gonna add her to my female birthday campaign and hit save. And oh, she's got an October birthday. Guess what, Alicia? We have something in common. My birthday's in October too. So, oh, looks like Anne's birthday might be in October also. That's awesome. So we'll stay connected and you'll get a birthday card every single year from me until I tell it not to go. So I don't have to tell it every year to trigger a birthday card to you. So how are we doing on that, Stacy? All done. All done. Okay, so let me bring, bring up my system again. Whoops. All right. So you should be able to see my iPhone and look at that. Stacy filled out the link. So you can see she filled out the survival kit with brownies. And now if I go over here and I go to my orders, Oh, not there yet. It will be, so we'll come back to this in a minute. So I need one more person to play along. Do we have anybody to play along? And while we're trying to find somebody, I'm gonna go add Stacy. Is, Stacy, is it all right if I send you a birthday card every year? Well, of course, thank you. Awesome. So I'm gonna go find Stacy in here and I'm gonna add her. So to... Beth is waving her hand. Beth, are you new? Yes. 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 So I am going to say edit for Stacy. <clears throat> and again, I'm going to come down here. Oh, and she just had a birthday. Well, mm -hmm. happy belated birthday. Thank you. It was a big one. <laughs> oh, well, happy big birthday. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, Beth, I'm going to bring up my phone. So um, Beth actually is already in my system, but that's all right. I'm gonna show you how Pearl works. So yeah. all I have to do is type hi. And Pearl comes back and says, hi, Michael and Brenda, welcome to Text to Mailbox. What would you like to send today? A card, a postcard, or a campaign? And so I could take a picture or I can pull a picture off on my phone and put it on the front of a card and put a message in it. I could do the same thing with a postcard, but I love campaigns because I like things that are quick and easy. So I'm gonna pick campaign. And then Pearl's gonna come back as long as technology cooperates with me. I do know that um, all of the cell carriers are slow right now um, and you can see that I have a whole bunch of different campaigns set up <clears throat> with groups in my, um, in my banner season account. So I have this thinking of you postcard that's 11387. Actually, I'm gonna send her brownies. Is it all right if I send you brownies? Yes, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the send me brownies. So 14846. So 14846. And Pearl says, okay, we'll send, we'll add your contact to the send me brownies. Do you know their mailing address? And I'm assuming you know your mailing address, right, Beth? I, I do. Okay, so I'm going to put yes. If I didn't know it, I could type no and Pearl would give me a link that I could then forward, sort of like the links that I've been sending through the chat. And then when they filled it out, it would automatically send that campaign to them. So it says, okay, great. What's your first name? So it's Beth. 
And then it's going to ask for her last name. And I know what it is. It's Weatherford. And now I need your full address. So what is your address, Beth? It's 13969 Windy Oaks Road. And I'm going to teach you all something right now. And hopefully she doesn't disappoint me. It's 809... Two, two, one. One. two one. So I have learned that Pearl really doesn't need the city and state. Watch this. If I just have the zip. Can I add your birthday? I'd love that. Awesome. And what is the month and the day? November 16th. So 11 and 16. And so does that look right, Beth? Yeah, she gets it correctly. I know. See, all we've got to do is give it the zip code. Give it the uh, street address and the zip code. Now, if it's a P.O. box or something, you do have to put all of the information in. But if it's an actual physical mailing address, a house, generally you don't have to do that. So I'm going to say yes. And Pearl is going to come back and say, Okay, Michael and Brenda, your contact Beth has been added to send me brownies. Thank you for using for text mailbox. And so that's how easy it is. Now watch this. Now, you know that I only triggered one of these cards to go out. And of course, we are at the busy time of the day. So we only have one still going all right well we're going to move on to building a custom card in an envelope and we'll come back to this only because i know pearl um and the text to mailbox is taking a little extra time right now i got a message um earlier today from banner season that the cell phone carriers are having some issues right now so we're going to go back over here to banner season so Brenda, can we send one more card and brownies to uh, Bernadette? Um, sure. Let me let me send her the card um, that I'm getting ready to do. How's that sound? Sounds great. So I'm going to come here to create cards, and you're going to see that I can create a five by seven greeting card with a plain envelope. A five by seven greeting card with a custom envelope. As far as I know, we're the only company in the industry that lets you customize the envelope. Then we have a pearl five by seven flat card. So these are for our paper snobs or people who want to send a really upscale invite for like a wedding or um, a client appreciation event. Then we have our gigagram, which is eight by 11. If you want to stand out, send those. And you get to actually design the envelope on those. And then we have our postcards. And you'll notice on our gold pricing, it says zero. That is not a mistake. On our gold pricing, you can send unlimited free postcards. You just pay for the stamp. They are 43 cents on the retail. And our cards are 50 cents on gold and $1.99 on retail. But I'm gonna choose this one right here. And I'm actually gonna start from scratch so that I can show you how to design one completely from scratch. And I'm gonna pick landscape. And it does ask me to name it because trust me, when you're first starting, you might not realize how important this is. But when you've been using Banner Season for over a year like I have, um, giving it project names like Demo June 3rd really helps you to find those later because it saves everything that you do. So now um, it says your photo here over on the left, it's flashing photo because it wants to add you to add a photo. But there's all these other tools that you can use on the inside of the card. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a photo and I'm gonna upload. And I am gonna go over to my desktop because I think that's where I put my folder. Banner season images. I highly recommend you keep a folder 
on your computer that says banner season images. And the reason is, is because we do not save your images for a long period of time. It's wow. in order for us to save on storage, they're only saved for a short period of time and then they're gone off of the system. So put all of your images into a folder and I'm gonna grab this one right here <clears throat> because I like daisies. So Brenda, when you say save images, you mean anything that's on the card that you like, save it. Anything it not be there for long. Right. Anything that you upload to Banner okay. Season that you might want to reuse at a future date, I strongly suggest you put it in a folder on your desktop or in your documents, wherever. Okay. Now, when I did that, you, some of you might have seen that a check mark came up, and you want to wait till you see that check mark before you hit continue. And now I'm just going to drag and drop that over, and now it's made it the whole background of my card. <clears throat> now, I want to add some text. So I'm going to come over here on the left and click on the text tool, and I'm going to add an empty text box. And I want it up toward the top. And I'm going to say, thinking of you. Oh, wow, that's not big enough. And it's not bold enough. So let me look at all these different fonts you can choose from. Lots and lots. So for you creatives, lots and lots to choose from. I'm going to choose lobster too because I like that one. It's still not big enough. So I'm going to come down here and let's see what's 48. Oh, that works. And I can drag this all around and you can see that pink um, guide for me so that I know that it's the center of the card. I can also drag these handles out all the way um, so that if I had a lot of text, I could use the whole um, width of the card. So I like that. Now I'm going to go to the inside and how you do that is either with these arrows at the bottom or you can click this down arrow and navigate from the front, inside top, inside bottom, back or envelope. So I'm going to go to the inside top and I don't want to leave any panel of this card blank. So I'm going to come over here to backgrounds and I'm going to come down here to, let's see, where are we going to, let's do something classic today. And I think we'll use this one. <clears throat> so now that's on the inside top. And now I want to add my photo because a lot of times people don't know who I am. And especially on this training, you might not know when the envelope comes. They're like, Brendan and Michael, who are they? So I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to come over here to my Facebook. And you're going to see that I can um, scroll down to timeline photos or photo cover photos, but I'm going to go to my profile and I'm going to go right up here to the top and I'm going to drag it over and that's way too big. I don't need it that big, but make it smaller and I'm going to put it in the center and I want to add a frame. So over here on the left, you see the border and I'm going to scroll down. Let's think this black one. So let's try that. That looks good. Now I'm going to go to the inside bottom and again, I'm going to add a background and let's just use that same background. And now I'm going to click on the text box and right here and then over on the left. Now some of you, depending on your computer and your operating system, it might show up over on the left where mine is and sometimes it's a box that shows up right over here. But either way, it operates the same. And it helps if I type first right. So I'm going to do double square brackets, first name, double square brackets with no space. That way it's going to insert the person's name from my banner season account. 
thanking of you and hoping you are staying safe and healthy during this craziness. Um, and that's not big enough. So I'm gonna make it, let's try that. Now I can see that I'm gonna hit transform and now I can move this around. That might be just a little bit too big. There we go. I'll move it down a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here on the right. Here's another place that you can add a text box. You could do it from the left, but I'm gonna hit this A and I'm going to move it down and this time I'm going to type Mike and Brenda. Brenda. And, yes. I'm so sorry. When, where did you hit the transform? I heard that on, I was looking at that when you just said I'm going to transform this so I can move it. I, I'll show you that in just a second okay. as soon as I'm done picking the font. So if okay. I forget, remind me. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm gonna come down here and where homemade apple. I love homemade apple, but I want to slant it a little bit because I want it to look like it was signed. And the the higher you come up away from the box, the more granular you can get with it. And so I'm gonna move it around. So if I come over here to the um, to the text. See this right here, Stacy? The left that's got a box. Correct. That's transform. If I'm on the A, this lets me edit the text. Empty gets rid of it, but right here, you're not seeing it right now because I, I'm already in transform mode. Got it. Okay, thank you. I come over here, this one. See transform uh, or yep. rotate. So those, depending on what you're doing, whether it's a image or text, you get different Thank tools. You. Yep. Thank you. Um, and now I'm gonna go to the back of the card and I'm gonna, again, add a background because I don't want it plain. And now I'm gonna come up here to photo. And I'm actually gonna go to my uploads and import from another project. So it does save, um, and here's um, a project that I, oops, that's not the one I want. Um, I believe this one, of course not. I was trying to show you how you can grab the back of a card. All right, never mind. I do it in Canva. And apparently, all of these, oop, I bet that one does. Nope, never mind. So I'm just going to add images. I'm going to add clip art. So I'm going to come down here to clip art. We'll go to design elements. And you can see that I have lots of different design elements to choose from in black and again in white. So everything is available in both. So since there's flowers on the front of the card, I'm gonna add a flower on the back of the card. We'll make it a little bit bigger. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and you can see there's to dad, save the date, animals, thank you. And there's these loved ones. And so I'm gonna scroll down and you can see that I can even add like, Hugs and kisses. Where did you, where did the love come from? So it's under clip art. So clip art, and I'm gonna go back to the very beginning. So here's the very beginning of clip art. See love? You've got dividers. Oh, topics. oh and you click on birthday and you get a lot yep. of birthday. Yep, and you get word art. So here's some word art from lots of different Ooh. word art, lots to choose from. How do you collect something if you don't want it after you're out of creation mode? So like you finish the back and you go, I really wish I put a different background on that. So then you would have to cancel the card if you've already sent it. And no. you, would have, okay. you would have to pull it up from your design 
um, your save designs, and I'll show you that in a minute, um, and then change the back and resend it. Um, so you can always do that, right? Okay, here. So how do you take, how do you delete something that's already on there that you don't I'm, want? I'll show you. Okay. I was going to do that right now. This XO, I don't want, so I'm going to hit delete. And then I'm going to move this over. Hey, Brenda, before you leave there. Yep. Okay, you just clicked. Um, in the, the, right above where you were, I'd never noticed before. On the left side, there, the little paint thing. You can yeah, change I can, the color. Absolutely. I can I make this yellow. I didn't realize for those. Oh my gosh. See, everybody learned something new today. So yes, you can change the colors and watch this on the background. If I go over to backgrounds, there are two colors in the background. If I wanted to make it yellow, oh. if I want to make it white, if I want to make it gray. For some reason, I had seen that on the backgrounds, but I'd never seen it on the um, on the flower, you know, those emblems, those yep. pretty cool. All yep. right. So, now what I'm gonna do is, this is the fun part. Here's the envelope. So I wanna add an image to the front of the envelope. So I'm gonna go, <clears throat> I actually already have it here, but I could hit upload and do the same thing I did before, but I'm just gonna add these daisies and then I'm gonna hit background. And now that's the whole background. And wait, here's wait, another. Wait. How did you hit background? Where, where did background come from? Okay, so I went to photo. Yeah. All right, let me start over. I went to photo. Let me, let me go back all the way to the beginning. You see photos. I go to my uploads because it's already in a project that I've done right here. And I just clicked and drag it over. And then right here, it says background. And I click on that and it made it the whole background. And now I can take this sun, whoops. I didn't mean to click the sun, I meant to drag it. And now I can put the sun, whoops, up in the top, make it a little bit smaller. There we go, now I can add a sun. Now I can hit save and add to cart. And now, what I'm gonna do, because we wanted to send brownies, is I'm gonna say, um, start a new project. And now I'm gonna go grab brownies. And it's the exact same as I was doing before. I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna drop in my own design. I'm gonna say, smiley face demo. Third, I'm going to add the smiley face. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to photos and my uploads and then recent uploads because I just, oh, actually I didn't upload it. It was in the other project. It was in this project that I did a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to add that to the brownies. And I'm going to transform this and make it a little bit smaller because I always want to put on the brownies text that says, make, whoops, four. Name. Last name. That way their name is going to be on it and that is not big enough. We need something bigger uh -huh. and I need it to go all the way from right to left and that's too big. So let me pick a different font. There you go. And make it 12. There we go. So now I've got baked especially for and their name on it. And I just hit save. I can preview it. 
I can add it to cart. And now I'm going to send that link. Who was it, Tirza? Well, it was going to be Bernadette, but she had to jump off. Um, okay. So no worries. But that's how I do that. And the only thing I want to show now before we open it up to questions, which we already got some of those, is our gift store. Um, because there are lots of gifts that you can send that are unpersonalized too, or uh, you know you, that you don't customize the label. We have caramel corn and truffles and um, pistachios and forget-me-not seeds. We've got gluten-free brownies, blondie brownies. So we are conscious of those that have dietary needs. And we have popcorn and people say, why popcorn? Well, you saw my one campaign that said, let's get your business popping. So you could send that or thanks for popping into eWomen or polka dots or thanks for dropping popping into our BNI chapter or our business, things like that. So I'm gonna stop the share and I'm gonna let you see my face because one thing I forgot to tell you is banner season has a guarantee. And that guarantee is that we send the very next business day. So everything I sent today will be in the mail tomorrow. They don't wait days or weeks or decide when they wanna send it. Their guarantee is the next business day. So if you send on a Friday, it goes out on Monday, unless Monday's the holiday, like we just had with Memorial Day, then it would go out on Tuesday. So with that, I'd like to open it up to questions. Beth has got a question. So um, why didn't you just click on that last one, add a gift? And, and I did. You went to a different way, but there was an add a gift tag right above it and you didn't use that one. Oh, hold on, let me go back. You added a project, I think. Um, I, th I think when I was, so if I'm here at the cart, See I went I right. Said, I know you went to gift shop instead of right down there to yeah. add a gift. Is I could. If I if I hit add a gift, it takes me the exact same place. Okay. Okay. That's. I just I see the big icons better than the little ones. Okay. I see things big and bold quicker than I see the little things. If that makes sense. Okay. Um, um, I made a card the other day, and I tried to put the background on. I guess after the fact and I lost my picture. So I guess I go back and just start over and add the background. I, I guess I didn't add the background as background and it covered my picture. So uh, Beth, let me show you that. So that if that happens again, let me go to saved projects. And everything you do is a saved project. So here's, see, this is that card that we were doing. So um, I'm gonna hit continue editing. And let's say, oh, I just made that the background. So let's say it's here and let me add another photo just so that you, can see, let me add popcorn. Whoops, I do that a lot. Ah, I did it again. I don't want it to overwrite. All right, so we're just gonna click and we're gonna say picture right here. Yeah, you can do it, yeah, from there, yep. Yep, all right, so Right here, now I've got the popcorn. And let's say, let me move the popcorn a little bit. Let's say that, let's make this the background. Well, it's, <laughs> it's hard to show you because now that picture, you can, you can tra transform it. Um, so I can make that. So see, here's a perfect example. That thinking of you is the background and it hid the popcorn. So now if I minimize it, now the, oh, the popcorn's gone, but I just have to go grab it again. 
Does that make sense? It gives me an idea about how I, yeah, how, what I did, what I did to make it happen. Okay. And then I can go back and undo it. And I realize these are your undos over here. Undo. Yep. Undo, redo. Yeah. Cut, copy, paste. So thinking of you, copy, paste. And now I've got it twice. Empty, delete. And that transform just lets you move it. Yep, transform lets you move it, rotate it. Okay. Okay. All right, let me stop the share. Any other questions? Uh, Brenda, this is Jim, how are you? Good, how are you, Jim? I'm doing good, thank you. Um, can you show me how to set up a campaign? Not necessarily to go grab the names, but how do you actually just set up a card in a campaign? Sure. Because you know you're going to use it over and over again. Yep. Awesome. That's a great question. So let me get out of here. So if I go to main menu and campaign builder, and I go right here to create a new campaign. Okay. And then I'm going to call this Daisy. Daisies, because that's the card I just did. A drip campaign is um, either something that's going to go out immediately or it's a series of cards that are going to go out over a time frame. Event based is exactly what it says. They are based on events throughout the year. So if I add 10 cards that are event based, I do an event based campaign. Um, and let's say they're based on holidays and today is June 3rd, then they won't get Memorial Day until after the 4th of July one. It, it, it doesn't matter when you add them to the campaign, whatever the next event is, is the first card that they're gonna get. And then it'll rotate around till whatever the last one was. What, what if it's, you're just creating a card same then, welcome then, to banner season all Thank you want you. is drip and then you hit create okay so i would want drip okay yep and then i'm gonna hit whoops what did i hit i don't know what i did I the key on my keyboard daisies and you would leave it as immediate for that and then you would say add a project and you then, gotta do what you had in line for supper what okay whoops. Ooh, i'm sorry oh. Walter, can you mute yourself? Here it is, it's, it's having trouble right now bringing it up, but here's my smiley face and I can add that. And so now I've got, there's the brownies. Whoops, I hit remove, I didn't mean to. I can add the card and then I can add another project <clears throat> and I can, whoops, I added the card twice. I did not mean to do hey, that. Do me a favor and start over because I'm writing it down. Okay. Um, there's it's, also a video okay. um, on how to do it. I know, but I like you better. <laughs> so um, I'm going to, I'll start from scratch. So go to the campaign builder. Okay. Create a new campaign. Gotcha. Yeah. Give it a name. Welcome, say. Demo. I already have a welcome, so I'm going to call okay. it demo. Create. I'm going to call this demo again, but you're going to call it welcome again because it's only one card. Okay. And you're going to say add a project. You're going to find that project. Um, so you've created the card ahead of time and saved yes. it in projects yes. you have to create you have to create the card or the brownies or whatever you're sending ahead of time okay all right and then here's the card so i'm going to hit add on the card and then i'm going to say add another project because i want to also send the brownies 
-hmm. If I wanted to add a coffee mug, whatever, I'd put everything in there and then I hit save shipment. Okay, so you hit save shipment, okay. Now up here under options, you need to hit start campaign. Mm -hmm. Now that demo is there and all you've got to do is manage recipients and enroll a contact or enroll a group that will then add everybody in that group. And as you add people to that group, sure. it will automatically add them to the campaign. Awesome, thank you for going through that. You're welcome. And I'm gonna go, since I'm right here, I'm gonna go to my orders and now you see all of those orders are processing. So here's the one for the survival and here's the last one to Beth with the uh, send me brownies. Any other quick questions? I see we're straight up four o'clock, so I've kept you guys quite some time. Any one last question before we sign off for today and I direct you to another training? Um, one thing I will show you, because I did mention it, is right here, help and support. That's your friend. Help and support video tutorials. Tutorials on how to do just about anything. And right here in the bottom right-hand corner is the chat feature. And Frank is your friend. Just hit send us a message or type something in the search like merge and it will bring up the results. Click on merge fields and there's all the merge fields you can use and you can just copy oh, and oh. paste right into your card or your project. Awesome. Any other questions? Well, if you are new to banner season, I hope I can be the first one to welcome you to banner season. It's an absolutely fabulous system to use to grow your business. And we look forward to seeing you on future trainings and overviews. With that, have a great day, everyone. Thanks, Thank Frank. Awesome training. Mm -hmm.